Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Long time no see. I am super excited to be back and I'm really excited about this project I'm doing today. Um, this is something similar that I did. This is a 10 inch round tray mold from Danner Builds. Everything that I use in this product, in this um, tutorial will be in the description box below. So you can find everything that I used. Um, I'm going to be doing a beach tray with sand and a velvet technique. Um, this one I did starfish and a little sand dollar and it came out really pretty. But this time I'm gonna switch it up and we're gonna put a seahorse and some sand in there. Um, the seahorse is also from Danner Builds Molds. It's uh, dannerbuilds.com. And um, I actually did this seahorse in a, in a previous tutorial. It's tutorial number 46. And you can see how I did this and I'm gonna demold it right now. I did some pretty green colors. Um, I made another one like this. It was actually a request from a customer and I just loved how the colors flowed. So I made another one. These are all um, chrome pigments. That, that beautiful green in the back is called Mangrove Mama. And then in the front, these are all my chrome pigments from islandmicasandmore.com. It's really just stunning. I love this. I hang these, um, maybe I can put the chains in the description box, but I hang these, I get these chains off of Amazon, and I actually sell these in my Etsy shop. I finally got an Etsy shop, um, set up so I can sell my artwork, everything that I use in the tutorial, I mean, that I make in the tutorials and just when I'm making stuff in general, but, um, I'll put the link to the chain because these sell really well. Um, if you get this mold. So anyways, we're going to do a seahorse in the center of this. And we're going to start with the seashells. I'm going to set this little guy to the side. I got a little dust on here. So what I'm going to do is just take my packing tape and just clean it up. Just a little packing tape. And then I'm going to take my seashells and I'm just going to lay them in the edge. You can put as many or as little as you want. Totally up to you. You can do other things besides seashells like stained glass. Um, whatever you want. My mind didn't go past stained glass. <laughs> On this project, I'm not gonna worry about bubbles too much because it is um, an ocean project. And if you can see in this other one, um, I, I don't know if you can see that. I kind of did get some bubbles and they actually look really cute. That is Island Shimmer from my store. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to use that also on this project. It kind of gives the seafloor a little sparkle. It's really pretty. I'm like obsessed with this tray, honestly. Okay. I like a lot of shells. Also, I used um, to color the resin. This is everything, like I said, is in the description box. This is Aqua Bombay ink. And you can see that there's a blue tint to this. Um, for this one, I used one drop per two ounces. And I want to kind of lighten the blue up. I don't want it to be so blue on this project um, to take away from the seahorse. So I'm actually going to do 
one drop per four ounces. So I'm gonna switch that up. So I'm just gonna lay that down and I'm gonna go mix four ounces of resin and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I have my four ounces mixed up and I'm only going to do one drop of this Bombay ink. And you wanna mix it really good. Like I said, um, I'm not gonna focus too much on the bubbles. The top had some little crusty things on it. Um, I'm not gonna focus too much on the bubbles, but there are, you don't wanna torch this mold um, at all, but there are some ways that you can like get less bubbles. Um, calm the bubbles down so some of that crust from the top of the ink went into there I shouldn't have done it right on top of it but you're not going to see it in the seashell so it's going to be fine but anyways so I'm going to be using alcohol this is alcohol in a spritz bottle in the description um I put a really cheap one you can get on Amazon it's already filled with alcohol um you can put the shells into the resin for a little while because the shells all have holes and the bubbles are going to pop up. So if you want to, you can put them in the resin for a little while, that helps. Um, you can actually warm up your resin by sitting this cup into a warm bowl, that helps with bubbles too. I'm just going to spritz mine. I'm going to spritz my project, I will show you. So I'm just doing the edge covering up um, all of the shells right up to the lip. And you can totally pour it right out of your cup, but I'm having fun. <laughs> if you get a little bit on the upper part of the mold, don't worry. We can wipe it off and it's gonna be the same color anyways. And I'm liking this lighter version of the blue. So again, that was one drop per four ounces. I love this Bombay um, ink, the India ink. I've, I have a lot of colors. I've been using it since I first started resin. Um, you can use it in coasters on coasters, on any project. Um, it doesn't act like alcohol inks, it's just more of a dye. Um, but like when you're doing coasters and you mix different products together, so say I would use the India ink and an alcohol ink and then maybe a resin tint, when all of those different chemicals mix together, it creates cells because you're using different products. So that's fun, a fun thing to know. Using different products creates cells. Especially um, the alcohol inks too. Using different products together, I should say. I haven't done a coaster tutorial in a while. I'm gonna do one maybe soon with some unicorn colors, like purple, pink, turquoise, and some gold. Or silver I have these new floating pigments um it would make it would be really pretty with it so anyways now I'm gonna get a little baby wipe and just clean up my top um the baby wipe can leave a uh, little hair residues so you're going to want to tape it when it's dry those little corners there, I'm not too worried about. It was just in the middle 
um, it's gonna blend all in together anyways. And I pretty much used all of the four ounces. There's just a tiny bit left, about maybe a half ounce that I will make into magnets to send with my orders. Okay, so now it's super bubbly. I'm gonna get my spray alcohol. I'm gonna come from up here back and I'm gonna spritz. Don't worry about the center, that will dry. And then if you want to pop some of the bubbles, you can. And I'm gonna let it sit and come back in like 30 minutes and pop any of the big bubbles that come up and spritz it if I need to. And that's gonna be the first part of the tutorial. The second part, we're going to lay, we're going to lay the um, seahorse down. So the second part, when I come back, we're gonna lay the seahorse down that way, of course. Um, we're gonna cover it with resin and then we're gonna do our velvet technique and I'm gonna use a garbage bag from the dollar store to use for the a velvet technique. You don't need anything special. So I'm gonna just let this sit. I'll come back, check for big bubbles or if you wanna leave the bubbles, you can do that also. And if, if there's any huge bubbles, I just pop it. I'll spray it with a little more alcohol and that's it. Hey guys, um, so this is cured and ready to go. There is a couple drops of resin that got onto the top layer. And like I said, you don't have to worry about that. It's gonna blend right in when you pour the next layer of resin. I am gonna do a little tape job just to make sure no fuzzies or anything got stuck to it. Um, I should have covered it up, but I don't really have room. So if you could cover yours up, that's great. Oops, I picked up a little thing with the tape. Um, a good thing about Danner Builds Mold is he, if you go to the website where you purchase them, he lets you know how much resin it needs. So the rim for the 10 inch tray needs six ounces. And then the base is 17 ounces for a total of 23 ounces to fill up this whole tray. So I'm gonna cut, there's 17 ounces left. I'm gonna cut it in, it, half is like eight and a half. I'm gonna do eight ounces. So I'm gonna just lay my seahorse down. I have a little hair on there, which you're not gonna see anyways, but I gotta get it off. <sighs> my animals do not come in this room, but the hair seems to find its way in there. I'm gonna lay my seahorse down. And then I am going to, I'm hoping it doesn't stick out. I don't think so, not that much. And then I'm going to go mix up eight ounces of resin um, this time I'm only going to use one drop because I want the seahorse to stand out more. I don't want the blue to take away from, you know, the chrome colors. So I'm just going to use one drop of the Bombay ink. So I'm going to put some gloves on, go mix up eight ounces of resin, and I will be back. Okay, so I'm back. I mixed up my eight ounces. Um, I'm going to put one drop of the India ink. And I'm gonna open it not over my project like last time or over the cup. And it's literally just like one drop. And I'm gonna stir it very well. Just 
scrape the sides. Okay, make sure I have it placed where I want it. And I'm just gonna pour the layer over. Over, around. There's just a little room left for the last layer of sand. And we are gonna do the velvet technique. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna spritz with alcohol. From far away. My bottle doesn't wanna work. All right, there we go. And then I'm gonna set a timer for three hours. Hey, Suri, set a timer for three hours. Three hours, starting now. And then we're, I'm gonna come back in three hours and we're gonna lay just a garbage bag from the dollar store over the back of it, squish it down to get the um, velvet technique and then we'll lay the sand. So that's it for now. We got our seahorse laid down and I will see you guys in three hours. Hey guys. So it's been three hours and I'm gonna come put my garbage bag over my piece. Um, I'm just gonna lay it right over. Um, there's plenty of ways you can do this. Some people put, a, put the garbage bag on before so they get less bubbles and come back and then crinkle it up, but I like to wait. Okay guys, stop. Before you lay your garbage bag down, make sure that there are no markings or a little black print on your garbage bag that will transfer onto your resin, which you will see happens to me in the end of the video. So check your garbage bag for the three hours and just lay it over. And then I'm just pushing around on the resin and the bag and I'm just making little crinkles um, be careful don't go close to the edge because then it'll make sharp edges you'll have to sand them the first time I did this I freaked out But don't worry, it's going to come up. When it's fully cured, you're going to be able to pull this right off. And that's it. I'm going to leave it alone. Um, so I'm going to wait till tomorrow till this is fully cured. And then we're going to pull this off. And then we're gonna brush in um, some island shimmer. That's what I did on the last one to get the little sparkly effect on the sand area. This is a beautiful mica additive from my store, Island Micas and More. Super pretty, it just looks like diamond dust. You can use this, like I said, as an additive. Um, this is one I have in a purple, so you can sprinkle it into things, or you can brush it on. So, I will see you guys tomorrow, and then we will sprinkle on, we will, I'm sorry, brush on some island shimmer, and then we'll pour the sand layer, and that will be the final step, and then demold the next day. So, I will see you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, so it's the next day. And I am going to peel this garbage bag off. It comes right off. And I have some awesome velvety texture going on. You can see on this side I pushed a little bit too close to the edge. So it's sticking up a little bit. I'm going to have to sand that a little bit. 
but we'll do that after. So now I'm going to brush in some of the island shimmer that I was talking about. Just all around where the sand's gonna lay. And then um, when I'm done brushing this in, I'm gonna mix six ounces of resin up. Um, if you were not using sand, like I said, this mold takes, the rest of the base takes 17 ounces of resin. So if you weren't putting sand, we'd probably need a little over eight, something like that. My math's all off. Oh no, check this out. The print on the bag is on the resin. Let me see if I can get that off with a little alcohol. All right, so make sure you watch where you're putting your bag. How does a bag even have a garbage bag best diffused by? It's coming right off. Hallelujah. So it's just a little ink that was on the garbage bag. And this is just a little bit of alcohol and a paper towel and it's coming right off. Let me get a Q-tip for the areas where it's folded. <clears throat> okay I think I got it all I'm glad I saw that and I see a little more piece a little more All right, let me finish dusting. All right, so I'm gonna go mix up six ounces of resin and I will be right back. All right, so I mixed up six ounces of resin. Um, this is my craft sand. I'm not even gonna measure, I'm just gonna pour it into the resin until I feel like it has the right consistency. I don't want it to be too thick. Um, but when you pull the resin up, I don't want it, want you to be able to see through the sand, if that makes sense. Also, this sand is super white, so um, it's up to your preference, but I would like to color mine a little bit. Um, these are my resin tints from my beach collection, and I'm going to use the lighter one, Snowbird, just to cover it up a bit, C color it up a bit, color it up a bit, <laughs> beach bum and Snowbird, so I'm using Snowbird. And you want to mix that really well. I'm going to put one drop of Snowbird. You can see that color in there. I 
I love mixing resin, it's so relaxing. Look at the swirls of color. Mix it very well. And then I just wanna start filling in this area. It's not gonna be even because of the creases and because of the edges. Maybe a little bit of the seahorse is going to be sticking out. I don't wanna go over the mold. Last time I went over the mold a little bit, I had to trim it up. So I'm just kind of putting in the middle, letting it spread where it wants to go. And that's it, I'm not gonna use, it looks like there's about an ounce left, so I didn't use a whole six ounces. I'll make some magnets with the leftovers. And then we're gonna do our alcohol spritz from the back, up from up high. Good morning, guys. This is ready to be demolded. Um, I did come in last night and it was dripping off the side. I guess my table is super uneven. So I just trimmed it a little while it was still pliable and bendy. So let's see if we can get this off. Man, I made a mess. So I need to get my table leveled out, but I'm moving art studio soon. So it's probably pointless. So I'll go around and just trim that edge off. The seahorse is not sticking out at all. I thought it was going to be, but it's perfectly smooth. Woohoo! This is beautiful. I absolutely love it. You can see the little bubbles. That were, that were created when I put the bag down. And there are still print from the garbage bag there. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to fix that somehow. Okay guys, so even though it's super annoying that I made a mistake and I made a mistake during my tutorial, I am going to fix it because the best part about resin is that it can be fixed. So, and then when I was figuring out how I'm gonna fix it, I actually like how it looks better because I'm adding interest to the piece. So I mixed up four ounces of resin. I'm gonna lay these down. I don't know how I want that one. Kind of trying to get the same theme going on. Three over there. Three over here. Hopefully they don't move around when I pour the resin. They probably are, but I will definitely babysit it. Um, also, I wanted to say 
that I always put a layer of Mod Podge over my sand dollars before I resin them because I've had instances where the resin made them um, like translucent, like see-through. I had it set perfect how I wanted it. Maybe I need a smaller starfish here. I don't want to cover the seahorse too much. No, that's not it. Okay, there we go. So that lettering is completely covered up. And I got some pretty shells or sand dollars and starfish that add to the piece. Boy, I am a mess. I have not done a tutorial in so long. Okay, so now I mixed up four ounces of resin and I'm just going to pour it right over the top. Okay, so here's my four ounces and I'm just going to go right over the top. The tray will be a little less deeper than it is, but not by much. And I'm just going to be really careful when I go over my starfish because I don't want it to slide around. The sand dollars are more heavy. They won't slide that much. But like I said, I'll come back and babysit it. I'm already super invested into this piece. I'm going to give it my alcohol spritz and I'm going to let it sit and then I'll be back and take some photos outside so we can see how it looks. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye. And here it is guys. I absolutely love it. It is so pretty. Look at that shine. You can see the little bubbles in there, super cute. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.